Welcome back to Grinnell College. Day two of the NCAA Division III Indoor Track and Field Championships. Officials meticulously straightening out some hurdles. Madison Renfro, eh, she knows better than to knock them down. Teammate Megan Costanzo watching on. Renfro had the top qualifying time yesterday with an 860 mark. Tough to beat, but she'll try. Lane four for the Cardinal, and she absolutely blows past the field. A national champion with a national championship time of 8.55. I am so emotional, so beyond excited. I can't even explain it. I'm like shaking. I'm so happy right now. Yes. Uh, I kind of got a little uh, tear eyed almost because I was like, it's it was like, uh, it's real, it's really happening, and that was just kind of hit me at the end, so. I was just kind of thinking, like, is this real? Is this really happening? Like, it's finally here, like, the, you know, the moment. The moment's here, so I was just really happy and excited for it. I don't know, it was, didn't feel real, you know? Uh, she said she loved me, she's so proud. I told her I felt so blessed just to have all these fans and the support, so. Like, oh my gosh, it felt awesome. Like, hearing them before I ran and after I ran, seeing all of them. And even after I finished, they ran over there to tell me good job. So, probably another day. <laughs> it's starting to sink in right now. Just, you know, tonight I'll probably get emotional about it. <laughs> on to Zach Plank in his 3,000 meter run. Plank finishing on the podium in eighth place the previous night in the 5K. Early on, Plank nudged towards the back and boxed on the inside, but by mid-race, the junior creeping up towards the front of the pack. About halfway through, Plank opening things up by stretching out the pack, taking charge ahead of the 5K winning Josh Thorson. Going into the final lap though, Plank paying the price of pushing the turbo button a little too soon. The field passing him up, Plank would finish in 11th place. The winner, Thorson from UW-Eau Claire. But coach, what did you think of Plank's performance? You know, he tried to stick it to everybody in the 3K. We knew he'd be tired, but he got tired of that lollygagging pace and then uh, took off and spread it out for everybody else. But, you know, that takes a lot of guts, and he went after it to give us all we can ask is everybody gives it the best that they can be, and on any given day, it's going to happen for you. To the women's 3K, Megan Costanzo coming back after racing in the 5K less than 24 hours earlier. From the opening gun, Costanzo getting bumped and squeezed to the back of the group, a tough position to be in from the get-go. Past the midway point and Costanzo is sitting in 15th place, so basically nowhere to go but up. And that's what she does, Costanzo making a move and now sits in 13th place. Amy Reagan with the victory, winning both the 5K and the 3K. Costanzo finishing strong, placing 13th in the field. Maybe not all American honors, but the senior qualifies in the two longest races and competed hard in both. And for that, that earns her a high five. Final race for NCC, the men's 4x4 meter relay, fourth fastest prelim time coming in. The final's done in two heats, cards in heat one with coach Frank Gramoroso looking on. After Daniel Spacapaniccia took the baton first, Zach Kirby grabbing hold and keeping the ship steady. As does Ben Nordman. Final handoff, the freshman Peyton Perron looking great in the prelims. Can he shine brightest with the spotlight on him? Just like the night before, coming down the stretch in third, Perron kicks it into sixth gear, blowing into second place in the heat. The only problem is, there's another heat. So as tired as they are, the cards have to gaze on to wait to see how they place, and eventually it's fifth. With that, the men's team scored settled. Cards finished tied for fifth with 21 points overall. Eau Claire takes the top spot with 53. Feels good, yeah, it's awesome. We hope to do a little better. We ranked fourth in the middle day, but you know, I'm not going to complain. We, we got two sophomores, a freshman and a junior, and we got a lot, a lot of running left to do for us still. So I think it's first experience for three of us. That's awesome. I'm so proud of these guys. They pushed me so hard. I was just, you know, I mean, this is all still so new to me. It's my first season. I'm only running, you know, nine or ten collegiate races. And then I feel like it was like a week and we were all of a sudden here. So it's pretty, you know, it's pretty amazing. It was, uh, I love these guys to death. It was so fun. And I wish we could have done a little better. The fifth place in the nation is still pretty cool. So I'm really proud of us. I'm really proud of these guys. It's fun. We survived conference, that was a disappointment, but again, winning 15 titles in a row, and you gotta let the guys know they gotta come to, to fight and battle uh, every year. So we got over that and we came to nationals, and there's always gonna be ups and downs in every track meet, but I think we had more ups than we had downs, and uh, you know, anytime you're in the top 10, I'm happy, and if you're in the top five, just missing a trophy, it's, 
you know, you got to get a few more horses here to go after it. We need more bullets in the gun. We knew he was capable. It's just trying to get all the numbers correct. I'm sure he talked about that, or Coach Weiner talks about all the numbers, and the numbers are the grips, the steps, the takeoff, the poles you use. So all those numbers clicked, and he's been going after it for a while. They made some adjustments, and he needed this kind of competition because we really don't have this national level competition, uh, even when he goes to some higher level meets. But I'm very proud of him and his dad, and uh, you know they just did a great job. And I heard he went higher than the Division One guys at their national meet. So uh, you know it's on to bigger and better things for him.